This past November, Hawaii successfully hosted the 2011 APEC Leaders Forum for the first time. Leaders from 21 Asia-Pacific economies, representing 40% of the world's population and over half of its gross domestic product, gathered to discuss APEC's goal, creating sustainable economic growth through free trade and economic cooperation. As a dynamic island state of many races, cultures, and traditions, Hawaii is truly an Asia-Pacific community. We're also a leader in clean energy, making Hawaii a great place to learn firsthand what it takes to create a sustainable lifestyle, a subject on everyone's agenda. In 1778, when Captain Cook found Hawaii's shores, its almost one million inhabitants were practicing near 100% sustainability. Fast forward to the 21st century, and the picture is markedly different. Pretty much everything that makes modern Hawaii life hum comes from somewhere else, traveling here by ship or airplane. Worse still, it takes $4 billion a year in imported oil to fill our cars and fuel our power grid. The only way to break our fossil fuel habit was to begin developing clean, dependable, alternative energy resources right here at home. In 2008, Hawaii began the task in earnest. The Hawaii Clean Energy Initiative created a first-of-its-kind partnership between the U.S. Department of Energy and the state of Hawaii. It mandated that by 2030, a full 70% of the state's energy needs would come from clean sources, a very ambitious goal. Fortunately, with limitless sun, wind, ocean, and geothermal resources, Hawaii was perfectly equipped to do just that. Now, a short three years later, Hawaii is becoming the world's working prototype for alternative energy research, development, education, and implementation. Clean energy is energy security. It's a means of protecting the environment and it's good for business. Since 2009, the clean energy economy has grown by over 900 million. And we're on track to continue this growth in 2012. Hawaii's clean energy economy represents more than 11,000 jobs with a projected increase of 26% in 2012. Currently, Hawaii is first in energy savings performance contracting, second in photovoltaic capacity, and third in the United States in clean energy job growth. A remarkably wide mix of renewable energy resources, coupled with state support, and the goal to achieve 70% clean energy by 2030 is attracting global partnerships. Countries like Japan, China, and Korea are participating in research and development projects that can produce models to be replicated worldwide. Right now, we're tracking project activity from over 80 proposed renewable energy projects, all of which have the potential to add significant capacity to Hawaii's grid. Our number one priority is connecting the islands with an undersea cable. Other long-term development plans include three target areas, smart grid, geothermal, and biofuels, all of which are needed to meet our 2030 goals. And there is no reason we shouldn't be able to meet those goals. In addition, our transportation sector is also changing, with major car manufacturers choosing Hawaii as their early deployment market for their electric vehicles. All of this represents a significant investment in our economy and we're just getting started. These numbers will only continue to grow. It isn't easy, but society can change the way it works with energy. Hawaii is living proof. To find out firsthand how to begin your own journey to sustainability, join us this August at the Hawaii Convention Center in Honolulu for the annual Asia Pacific Clean Energy Summit and Expo. Learn about innovations and opportunities being developed through strategic partnerships with both U.S. and international corporations, as well as U.S. military energy programs and Hawaiian Electric Industries' multiple renewable and microgrid pilot projects. Let's work together to change the energy future for the Asia-Pacific region and the world. <laughs>